freelance containers and free decal art to make them. Stay tuned. Bob Johnson here with PK&W Railroad coming at you with another video. In this video we'll talk about how I made these freelanced containers and decorated them and I'll also provide you access to the decal so that you can the art for the decal so that you can make your own decals and make these containers. Here's how the project starts with six undecorated 40-foot reefer containers. You can still find these uh, online or you could strip some containers. Here's the full-size decal sheet I utilize. When you make your own decals you don't want to waste space and waste printing so it covers a lot of other container schemes for Gulf Coast Intermodal. My freelanced intermodal company on the layout and data for all different styles of containers but it also covers frozen Floridian foodstuffs and here is the decal art that I'm going to make available I'll put the link here on this page as well as in the description so you can go to my website and download this as a PDF or a JPEG also instructions about how to scale it in case you have problems doing that now, if you want to replicate exactly what I did, there are three decals that I use for Microscale Sheet MC4117. These are white decals that I couldn't print, but this shows you what they are and where they go. Usually I am really good about documenting my project step by step, but this time all I have is a picture of the final results, a whole flock of containers being dull coated after being weathered and that includes these reefers. Now what I did was I primed them in silver which you should use for all priming purposes in model railroading because it's a great background even for white paint. I then masked off the tops and the sills that need to remain silver, spray painted the containers white and applied decals. Here's an end shot showing my crude weathering. The acrylic wash I put in here really came out poorly. However, the rest of the weathering with, with, with um, watercolor pencils I think came out really well. It was easy to control them to get some rust on the sills, streaking down the sides. I think it really came out pretty well. And when you have a whole bunch of these containers together, I think it's a really nice effect. And it'll be a nice effect at the frozen Floridian foodstuffs plant on my layout. I chose frozen Floridian foodstuffs because it's hard to say, so it's kind of funny. And I really enjoy finding and using the font with the ice on it. So I hope you make some containers and enjoy it. The majority of this video was about making these frozen Floridian foodstuff reefer containers. However, on the website for my model railroad, you'll see that there's other, there's other decals available. Specifically, those are decals to make Dunder Mifflin branded trailers, containers, trucks, whatever you'd like to make with those. Now, please, as emphasized on the website, Dunder Mifflin is a probably a registered trademark of somebody. It's somebody's intellectual property rights. And so I'm not making these available for your commercial use. You can't make a profit on these. I'm not making a profit on my YouTube videos, on my website, certainly on those decals. I'm not selling them. I'm not making any money on any of this stuff. So um, it should be okay, therefore, from an intellectual property standpoint. I just want to make sure that you follow those rules as well. It's only for your personal use. Enjoy. Well, thanks for watching. You got a little bit of the history of the concept for my freelance model railroad, along with some information about how I made and decorated these containers. And you also got a link in order to have access to that artwork yourself if you want to print your own decals. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe. Until next time, Bob Johnson with PK&W Railroad signing off. Happy modeling.